Ronaldo the Wizard was a standing dish at Maidan, where he raced season after season until he was 12, winning the Group 1 Golden Shaheen as a seven-year-old and collecting more than $2.2 million in prize money. Born in America, he spent most of his life in Dubai, but now he's in retirement here in Newmarket at Sheikh Mohammed's Wellbottom Yard. We spoke to Steve Lehman about how he's enjoying his life in retirement. Well, Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo arrived here at Wellbottom uh, two years ago, uh, or two years this July. Um, I did a little bit of homework on him. I knew he was a 12-year-old arriving in from Dubai. My first impression when he arrived here um, and got off the box um, was that I was looking at a 12-year-old, but I wasn't. I was looking at a four-year-old, basically, because he just looked so youthful, um, which, which was amazing. Um, he's been here two years now. Um, he's 14, and um, he still looks like a four-year-old to me. Um, he has a great constitution. Um, He's a tough horse, uh, plenty of character, um, and, and loves his treats basically here. Marie Sullivan, who heads the sales team here, um, I think that's probably his favorite person because Marie supplies him apples daily. Um, Satish Seema has been to see him since, his trainer, and Richie Mullen's been a few times as well, his um, ex-jockey, um, and they've always been delighted with him. His daily routine, basically, he comes out of his box first thing in the morning, he comes into his paddock, he spends the day out in his paddock, comes back in the evening um, for his evening feed, and um, at the back of his box, he has a, 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 an open stall, um, which is sand-based, and he can have a good roll, um, and he has a, a great time, basically. Um, he doesn't give us many problems, um, but basically, one of the problems we did have with him was I knew he came from America, Dubai, spent most of his career in Dubai, um, was the first winter um, in England. And he shivered because he never experienced that type of um, coldness before. So he was wearing three rugs uh, all through the winter. And even last year, going into winter again, he still hasn't quite acclimatized, I don't think, because we always rug him up. Um, and that's just the way he is. But saying that, the horse never really throws a winter coat to keep himself warm. And that's where I think he's a tough lad, you know? He keeps that very good colt on himself. Um, but no, apart from, you know, the usual day routine with him now, which he's settled down very well to it, um, I think he's a very happy horse. And uh, we're very happy to have him here. We actually knew when he came here, this was going to be his home. He was going to retire with us. And um, basically, we, we treat him as one of the team, one of the family, basically, because this is where he's going to stay. Um, and hopefully, he's going to stay as long as I'm going to stay. And that's going to be for a while yet. <laughs>